American Architectural Review is a national platform where science and art meet, where the issues facing builders and consumers take center stage, where the spotlight seeks out and shines on the creators and innovators. This editorial series, featured on national television, singles out architectural achievements from tools to technique, from form to function. Daycon USA was handpicked as a featured guest because of its commitment to promoting progress in the world of architecture. Hello, I'm Morley Safer. Nothing really lasts forever, but it can last for a very long time, as many of our classic examples of architecture have shown us. And today, new building materials are being developed that can help extend the life and beauty of a building. The Borgata, expected to open in 2003, will be the first hotel to open in Atlantic City in 13 years. It will also be the largest in town, says Paolo Calavino, one of the builders of the 2010-room resort and casino. For Calavino, the integrity and safety of buildings this size require the latest and most advanced engineering technology. We're generally using uh, reinforcement, and the reinforcement is used to, uh, to make sure the concrete columns and shear walls are found in the concrete columns and shear walls, which are used to make sure that the structure is stable and reinforced properly. For this job, Calavino is using a type of shear reinforcement manufactured by Daycon known as a stud rail. Dr. Amin Ghali is one of its inventors. They are vertical bars. Each bar has an anchor head at the top and they are placed at specified spacing and welded to a steel strip at the bottom. And this shear reinforcement is placed verti vertically in position close to the column to prevent the, the failure that can happen due to the heavy weight of the floor pulling downward and causing the punching failure which would go through the slab like this. You can see the vertical members running up the side of the building. Those are columns. The horizontal members are the floor slabs. And at the joint between the column and the slab, that's where the punching shear uh, control must be. And, and we'll put stud rails in a pattern around the column within the slab. This is a, a four stud rail and it's basically uh, placed on the form like this and it's nailed in on these corners. And your PT cables will run through here and your dead end will be here. And you'll stress from this area. And this basically holds the concrete and the PT ends in place and uh, acts as a reinforcement. The Daycon stud rail is superior to the other shear reinforcement systems because we can effectively anchor our reinforcement into the concrete. Uh, other systems such as the, the stirrup cages have uh, inefficient anchorage and it's, you're unable to develop the full strength of the steel unless you've got a very thick slab. Dr. Ghali says these reinforcements can also increase the flexibility of concrete buildings in seismic regions improving structural performance both during and after an earthquake. It can prevent the collapse of a slab in an earthquake. The stud rails can be used in anything from about a two-story building up to uh, perhaps about a 45 or a 50-story building. Uh, it's got to be a concrete frame and uh, a flat plate system. And by flat plate, I mean there are minimal beams. Uh, the columns go straight up and frame directly into the slabs and the underside of the concrete slab is smooth as well. Daycon's uh, production with the stud rails was very quick and in a matter of uh, two to three weeks we had stud rails delivered. There are situations where a stud rail shipment, we get an order in the morning, we do the production during the day and we ship it out overnight so that it arrives at the job site the, the next day. For Calavino, the stud rails have the additional benefit of reducing time and labor costs compared to traditional reinforcements. Before it was taking us roughly uh, a full day with four men to install the rebar, the reinforcement stirrups, 
and now it's basically taking us two hours a day with uh, one individual to install all the stud rails required for the floors. Although it will be some time until the good times roll in this Atlantic City casino, contractors and architects may find they have an ace in the hole that can help provide buildings with better performance for years to come. The world of architecture and design is a fascinating and creative place. As new ideas and developments occur, American Architectural Review will share them with you. Once again, American Architectural Review extends a special thanks to the companies and organizations that have risen to meet the challenges of today's architectural industry. This has been a presentation of WJMK.